Hey, look, if you're over 50, you should be on YouTube, you should be on Instagram, you should be on TikTok, you should be on Pinterest, you should be on what else is out there, LinkedIn, but you should really be on YouTube and Instagram sharing your wisdom, sharing the things that you know about life um, that could help other people. Look, I'm 53. And the first couple of times when I got on video, it terrified me. It, I was scared to death. Didn't know what to talk about. I thought I would sound like an idiot. Um, I thought my, my eyes were darting back and forth. And I just looked so nervous looking at the camera. And it wasn't until, you know, people started saying, hey, Ty, I get a lot of value Look, I'm still doing things screwed up on, on camera. But they would say, I get a lot of value out of your videos. Thank you for helping me. And and I'm a, I'm a business coach. So I teach people um, all about digital marketing. So how to start digital marketing businesses, digital publishing businesses to be specific. And what I basically share are things that I wish I knew when... Um, I was first starting my business and there wasn't YouTube, right? There was no one around to help me and uh, help me get started. So now that's where I'm at. So I share things that will help inspire other people, um, not only as it relates to just business, but just life in general, health, um, about marriage. I've been married for 20 years. We just celebrated uh, my 20th wedding anniversary. I've got four kids, so I I talk about raising children. I talk about, I mean, just just everything. And I'm here to tell you that you have much more to talk about than you could ever imagine. There's people that desperately need your help. Maybe you've gone through some things as it relates to uh, the job place, right? Maybe you, maybe maybe you got fired from a couple of jobs when you were younger and you thought that it was going to be the end of everything, right? There's, there's people that need to hear how you got past that and how to cope with it. Maybe you've had a divorce or two. There's people that need to know how to deal with that. Maybe you've gotten, uh, I don't know, maybe you've had you know, some loss in your life. I lost my mom, my best friend. To colon cancer and you know it devastated me and now I talk about that and I help people to get past not get past but to to better cope with some of the losses that they've had in their life right they say the best person they said it, the, the the best person to help the easiest person to help is the person that you used to be. I also have sickle cell anemia, which is a chronic disease that kills hundreds of thousands of people a year. So I talk about how do I deal with that? How do I keep my health where it needs to be? I talk about, um, maybe I should eat a bag. I'm carrying things up and down the freaking stairs and I got four flights of stairs in my house. So I talk about just everything that, you know, it comes to mind that sometimes it's stuff that I don't think would be the best to talk about, but people get value out of it. So you never know. Look, if you got value out of this video, let me know. I'm encouraging you to get on video. And as someone who... I look up to as a mentor once told me when I was definitely, definitely, definitely afraid of freaking getting on video. He said, look, what are you afraid of? It's just a freaking piece of machinery. What are you going to be afraid of? Right. And then when he said that, it just it, it just put things in perspective. It just made so much sense for me. And I was like, oh, my God. Are you serious? Like, I'm afraid of just being on on my freaking phone, I'm afraid of being on camera, right? And nowadays, with the like, I have the old iPhone that I'm shooting this on. So I've got, I think mine is an iPhone 13. And I'm not sure what they're up to now. But I don't, I don't, look, 
I don't care about having the best equipment and all of this other stuff that can hold you back. I think it's just a distraction. Get out there and share the information that you have. Don't be selfish because if, you, if you've got information that can help people, even if it's just you talking about how to, how to live a better life, how to live a peaceful life, how to get past the distractions. If you've got information that can help people and you're not sharing it, you're being really selfish. I'll see you. Let me know if this helped you.